Welcome back to the lab folks. So today we're going to continue on with our power supply project sponsored by PCBWay and, and the boards have just come in. Let's have a look at them here. Nice, I got, uh, got white on black this time around. Just for the hell of it. And they came out really nice. Like I say, there's a lot of additional space here that uh, would potentially be used for additional functionality on this, such as the fan controller and possibly coil switching on a transformer to reduce uh, dissipation on the output. But we're not going to proceed that far with this project. Hopefully this will be the end of it. If, it, if everything works, this will be the end of it. I uh, may have some adjustment to do, especially on the indicator for the constant current mode. I didn't know what values might work here, so we've got to make some measurements and tests and maybe come up with some better values for these two resistors here. But uh, other than that, we're ready to go on that. I think I have all the parts to help me out with it. I got in these uh, big electrolytics here. I've already checked these out. You never know what you get when you buy something from a company you've never bought from before. But uh, these are JC Con, and I'll leave a link to them below. These are very large capacitors, 22,000 UF at 50 volts. I'm going to use both of them. That should give us a, a ripple below about one volt uh, coming in off the unregulated supply at a maximum of five amps. We'll see. Uh, but I did check them out and they check out to be perfectly well within spec on my LCR meter. And they also have a very low ESR of about 20 milliohms each. These should do really, really well. So, uh, well, let me get the parts together for this and we'll build up the temporary supply with these and we'll come right back. All right, folks, we're back. It's actually been three days. We've got continuous weather problems up here. And uh, I had a, a guy contracted to do our snow, to remove the snow from our 180 foot driveway, but he passed away suddenly. And we now had uh, like three or four days of constant snow. So I've got to get out there with a snow thrower. And it takes about an hour and a half to do that driveway. And that's if the snow is light enough, like it was, like only six or seven inches of snow. So that's been taking up my lab time. Let me show you something. I'm the kind of guy who wants the horses to escape. I, I go out and try to find out why. While this was a way of getting made at PCB Way, I had a better look at the circuit and some other things. I, you know, I actually measured the resistance of this. I thought it was uh, 0 0.005 ohms, but it's not, it's 0 0.025 ohms. And uh, so that's changed the resistor that I have to put in here. So I changed that one to 130K from 390. I kept this 100K here, so there's potential for adjustments. So I have a wide range of adjustment right now on the, on the maximum current. And let's see, I, I can't find my 6A10 diodes, so I left that out. And yes, over, over here. So if let me explain this to you. I put in this resistor here, 33K. Let me explain that to you. If you look at the original schematic here, hope that can focus on there for you. Uh, if you look at the original schematic here, we have, uh, we have this line coming in here from the, the current sense into the current error amplifier over here. But if you look carefully, you'll see that there's no resistance in this line. It's something I just totally forgot. So this is a very, very, very low impedance. This little capacitor here is not going to do much about trying to eliminate any oscillation here. So I, I went ahead and I, I put a resistor in here, a 33K ohm resistor. And the way I got it in here is I cut this little trace. So this, this is the trace here coming in from the output to the, the current sense amplifier. I just cut that trace there and then soldered that in here. When I put the schematic up in the description, that will reflect those changes. And now we just gotta connect it all together with all this stuff. So here's, here's my test power supply coming in here, my unregulated. So I've got my six amp 24 volt transformer here, 25 amp rectifier, and a couple of those uh, 22,000 UF capacitors I showed you the other day. And another thing I did is I had the transformer I was going to use for the operational amplifier supply and I had it out and I was playing around with it a couple of weeks ago and I completely misplaced it. So I'm bringing in another DC supply I have up there, dual supply, and I've got it set up to 17 volts so that these regulators will have to do their job just to make sure that works. Oh yes, pass transistors. So I've got the pass transistors mounted up to these big heat sinks here. They say I got them clamped together. These heat sinks the way they are, especially with this little this little fan that I have here, and not quite up to worst case scenario here. So we'll have to be careful with that because these things will heat up and die quickly. Here's a, a DC load, I've got my segment load over there. We're gonna load it down with that. And yeah, 
let me hook all this up. We've got a lot of stuff to do on this, so we'll get at it. All right, we've got mostly hooked up here. And I keep kicking myself in the butt about that transformer. Who loses a transformer? Somebody who's losing their mind, I imagine. I don't have the op amps in yet and don't have the meter on. I just want to make sure that this power supply is doing what it's supposed to be doing. We've got minus 12.1 there. Plus 11.8, call it 8.6, so that's good, those are good. Now let's make sure the TL431 is doing its job, 4.9947. So that should be a pretty good reference. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and we'll put the operational amplifiers in and hook up the meter and then put the controls on it and uh, begin our fun. Okay, we've got everything hooked up here. And I'm going to turn on the supply to the op amps and you know, turn on unregulated supply. All right. So we got uh, a couple of amps going through it, 0.658 volts coming out of it. Let's see, there's a voltage work. Yeah, voltage works. There's the current work. Current works, and we're, we're having current limiting is happening. Now what I want to do here, I want to adjust the offset here. So I want to get that down to zero amps. Let's see if I can tweak this a little bit here, just make that happen. There we go. So we got down to zero amps. And at some point we're going to test the upper end of it. But right now what I want to do is I want to test uh, for zero volts. Okay, let's let's measure the voltage and see if we can get that down to zero. We're at 4.7 millivolts, that's not too bad. Let's get on here and the wrong way. All right, zero volts and zero amps. Okay. Uh, next thing I think we should try for, let's try and set the maximum amperature. Let's see what we get out of it. We're just going to turn this up all the way here. Set the voltage up. And we'll slowly increase 2 amps, 3 amps, 4 amps, 5 amps. I'll put it up to 5.2 and let's adjust this so that it starts to limit at 5.1. All right, let's bring it back up. All right, something's blown up. Yeah, we let the smoke out of something. All right. Okay, I suspect that I, I blew up these transistors here. So let's, uh, let's check them out. I've got them disconnected here. Let's see if these are blown up. That one's okay. Actually, I smell, I smell the smell. I smell the smoke. Let's check the other one. Yeah, this one's gone. So, okay, well, I'm gonna to have to call it quits uh, for this episode today. We'll come back in a, in a couple of days and uh, I'll, I'll replace that transistor and uh, we'll approach this from a, a different angle. We've got to somehow get the current limiting up to a maximum of 5 amps and get the voltage set at its maximum too. So I think maybe setting the voltage at its maximum would be the way to go. That way when we're running a high current like that, we got less dissipation coming through the transistors. So, okay folks, thanks a lot for coming out. We'll see you in the next video, which we'll be back onto this again because I just want to get this kind of working properly. Then we can leave it at that.